you're telling us to expand our investigation now? There's no way we can do that! Huh? Was that Marion's voice? She will calm down in a while. Do not worry. This is a common occurrence. Geez, always sending over additional work without knowing anything about our situation. If they want us to keep the deadline, they better send us money. Or people! Deadline? What is she talking about? I do not know. A gopher seems to have to deal with a lot of trouble. Don't say that so seriously, Linka. You're gonna make me sad. I'm sorry. I showed you yet another disgraceful moment. I kept receiving absurd orders, one after the other. And I just couldn't help myself. You seem really busy. If you want, I can just come back later. Oh, there's no need for that. As it turns out, I need to talk to you too. Huh? Marion? Why are you smiling like that? I got additional investigation instructions from my home country, but I already have my hands full. So, I was thinking I'd ask you to handle this particular investigation for me. A particular investigation? Um, what should I do? I have Neo's thing too, so I wonder if I'll have time to take on a job like this. <laughs> It'll probably help you out too. I want to request an investigation of Halos Village. All of the villagers disappeared overnight. Just looking at the circumstances, doesn't it sound similar to your sister's disappearance? That is interesting. Please, let me do this job. Thank you. In that case, I'll tell you the details of the request. I want you to examine the village thoroughly and search for something that might have caused the disappearances. The cause? I wonder what could cause all the villagers to disappear? There are numerous possibilities, like they were attacked by beasts or thieves or poisonous gas. Of course, it could even be the work of a bloodthirsty killer. B bloodthirsty What? That's just a possibility. But if that is the case, you might see the vengeful ghosts of the villagers. Actually decline. Nope, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd get that scared. Don't worry. I don't think it'll be a killer because the villagers disappeared without a trace. It's really strange. But then maybe I'll be. Um, will I be okay? Anyway, if we can find physical evidence that points to the cause. It would be more than we're hoping for. Physical evidence? What would that be? Samples of the water or dirt, whether or not there are any signs of struggle, or weapons on the ground. If you find anything out of the ordinary, bring it back. Water, dirt, and anything out of the ordinary. Got it! And, since we don't know what'll happen, I'll lend her to you. Linka, I order you to be Aisha's bodyguard. I'm counting on you. As you command. Linka will? Wow, that's very reassuring! Aisha, I'm sure you'll be okay, but always keep your guard up. If you think it's dangerous, don't go too far in. Okay, I'll do my best. Well then, Linka, I'll be counting on you. Understood. Aisha, I will protect you from all enemies, even at the cost of my life. Oh, 
You don't have to go that far. This girl is very skilled, but she's also very inflexible. Well, I can guarantee her skills with the sword. I'm sure it'll be helpful to take her with you. Linka, escort her to a moderate degree. Don't go overboard, okay? You'll escort her until you return to town. Do you understand? As you command. Also, don't go following strangers. As you command. When you wake up in the morning, make sure you comb your hair and tidy yourself up. Where's your response? As you command. If you come back with messy hair, I won't let you back in the house, okay? As you command. It seems like Marion has a lot to deal with. Well then, Aisha, look after Linka for me.
Is this okay? I've started to understand more about synthesis lately. If I do that this way, then it becomes that. So... Oh! Did something just flash in my mind? Mr. Owner, are you gonna do that again? Of course! That's what I live for! No, it's actually my entire being. I wouldn't be exaggerating if I said it defines my very existence! Well, I don't care either way, but we have hardly any participants so far. Unlike the bazaar, it's not profitable, and association executives don't seem too fond of it. Hmm. It might be too hard for dignitaries to understand, with their old-fashioned sensibilities. But I'm sure the day will come when my innovative spirit will be proven right. But either way, you'll need participants. If this keeps up, the plan itself will end in failure. Hmm. That is a problem. Any... Hello, Mr. Harry and Marietta. There she is! Yeah? Oh, what is it? <laughs> what great timing! Ah, yes, we have her! What are you talking about? Whoops, before that. Aisha! What did you think of the last bazaar? It was very fun! 
I've never been to such a lively place before. Is that so? Mm-hmm. I'm happy to hear you enjoyed it. Now then, not being too conceited for my success, I'm working on my next plan. Would you like to participate, Aisha? Huh? But I've never owned a store, and... No, no. The next event is extremely scientific. It's the perfect event for someone like you. Scientific? Like gathering everyone up and having a synthesis contest kind of thing? No one but you would be able to participate if that were the case. The next event is the aptly named Thrilling Treasure Contest. Thrilling? How about it? Just hearing the name is thrilling, don't you think? Mr. Owner, didn't you call it the Treasure Trove Contest? <clears throat> you don't need to mind the minor details, Marietta. Uh, and what kind of contest is this gonna be? We collect treasures or rare items of great value from the ruins and determine who has the item with the highest value. I believe that the intellectual curiosity of these items alone would be a priceless fortune. I will hold it, even though it won't bring any visible profit, because it is partially my hobby. Actually, it's nothing more than Mr. Owner's hobby. Now, Aisha, I hear that you deal with rare items as well. I would very much appreciate it if you would please participate. Okay. I'm kinda interested, but I'm also kinda not. It's simple to participate. Just present an item that makes you think, this is it. Judges will carefully assess each item, and whoever brought the most excellent item wins. And, of course, the winner will receive fabulous prizes. So there's no reason not to compete. How about it? Don't you just want to sign up? Uh, I wonder. I kind of do. But I also kind of don't. Aisha, if you don't want to, just say you don't want to. Why must you always sabotage me? Aisha was about to make up her own mind about this. Is that so? On the day of the contest, I'll have Marietta call out for participants. Just complete your preparations so that you can exhibit at any time. Thrilling treasure contest? I guess I should keep it in the back of my mind. Wait, or was it the treasure trove contest? Hey, Aisha, welcome! Are you here to take part in the treasure trove contest? Oh, I think I remember Mr. Harry saying something about that. Um, should I? Yes, I'd love to participate! Oh, you're pretty motivated. Then let's get you signed up. 
I wasn't sure if we were going to have enough participants to open the contest, but we do now. Get ready right away. What? Like, right away, right away? Of course. Mr. Owner has been way too enthusiastic about it and has been getting ready for a while now. So just go straight to the stage and get ready for your turn, please. Uh, okay. Uh, I hope I can do this. Okay, I would like to start the 10th thrilling treasure contest. First of all, let's have a message from the organizer. Ladies and gentlemen who adore fine and rare items, welcome to the thrilling treasure contest. I am the organizer and winner of the last event, Harry Olsen. This is the contest's 10th running. And I take pride in how our recognition around the world has advanced. And, as a matter of fact, I am also proud of you folks. Now, mystery items still slumber all over the world. To collect those items and to make their presence known to all, I'd like each participant to adopt this noble ideal and exert themselves. And eventual... Okay, thank you very much. Let's give him a big round of applause. Harry is the same as always. Oh, Regina? You're gonna compete too? Yep, I have a business relationship with him. I'm taking a break, and I'd rather slack off at my house, but... Anyway, I'm more surprised that you're here, Aisha. <laughs> I couldn't really say no. I see. I guess we have the same motive. Well, let's just take it easy and... And today, we have a new victim, I mean participant. The go-getter apothecary, Aisha. Huh? Come on, stop looking so silly and please give us a short speech. Huh? Oh, yes. Um, I I'll do my best. Thank you. <laughs> How innocent. Now, the 10th thrilling treasure contest will begin! Now, before we get to the competition, let's meet all of our exhibitors. Everyone, please give us a short introduction. First up is our organizer who was just introduced, Mr. Harry Olson. Please keep it short. Why, hello! I hope you're all having fun. I shall show you all my collection. Next is Regina, who has taken part in this contest every time. Yes, hello. Well, like always, let's take it easy. Our next exhibitor came from a faraway land and works as a bodyguard, Ms. Linka. I am not sure what this is all about, but battling is my forte. I will win. And here's our final exhibitor, Ms. Aisha. Y yes Um, so well. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay, thank you very much. I'm so excited to see what kind of items will be shown. Continuing on, I'd now like to introduce all the judges. First is Mr. Harry Olson, whose privilege for being the organizer allows him to serve as a judge. <laughs> People, I expect to see an item that'll surpass mine. Although I'm sure that's a tall order. Okay, how childish. And please allow me, the host, to be a judge as well. Items that'll sell in the store. I mean, I'll be looking forward to all the wonderful items. Now, our next judge is an official who tediously carries out her duties throughout the region, Ms. Marion. <clears throat> I'll be giving strict evaluations, so be ready. Our next judge travels to various places as a peddler, the good-natured Mr. Ernie. Hello. I'm excited to see what kinds of items are going to be presented. Good luck, everyone. Okay, that concludes the judge introductions. Everyone, please put all your might into your judging. Now I'd like to go ahead and start the contest. Contestants, 
please get ready for your turn. Looks like it's starting. I need to decide which item to exhibit. I need to try my best and choose something the judges might like. Let's see. I would now like to start our contest. First contestant, come on down! Well, this item comes with my highest recommendation. I'm convinced that there are no other items like it in the world. Okay then, judges. Please assess these items carefully. Start your assessments now. the one I'm presenting. Please take a look at my finest of fine items. Okay then, judges. Please assess these items carefully. Start your assessments now. Please come on down! This is the item I decided on after multiple examinations and inspections. Please judge it well. Okay then, judges. Please assess these items carefully. Start your assessments now! For the final exhibitor, Aisha, please come on down! Uh, okay. Thank you for having me. Now, what will the results be? Let the assessment start. Announcing the results. The winner is... Ms. Aisha! Congratulations! Oh, me? Really? Y yay Wow! Oh, they were all great! I'd like to ask our event organizer, Mr. Harry, to comment on the results. Um, it looks like I let too much of my guard down and unexpectedly missed the win. Even so, going all out against a girl is unbecoming of a grown man, so, you know, I hope you all understand. So, in other words, what I want to say is that it won't be this easy next time. I'll be the next winner! Just be honest and congratulate her. Now, let's have a word from our winner! Huh? Oh, y yes! Uh, I'm very happy! Okay, thank you very much! And one more time, congratulations! 
Well, everyone, thank you so much for sticking around till the end. Please look forward to the next contest.